Hello guys, this is the unboxing video of Miraki MX64 router and security appliance. I'm going to show what all things come in the box and how you can guide a remote user to check different components of the device visible from the outside. Let's get started. So we have a box and a beautiful bag which looks like containing some cable. Uh, let's check it out. Yeah, so this has the power adapter cable, which one side will go in the power socket, and other side most likely will fit into the adapter for the router. Let's keep it aside and unbox the router box and see what all things come inside. So we have got a router here. It's a beautiful silver color on the top and black on the bottom we have the details mentioned over here which contains product name model number power ratings which is 12 volt and 6 1.6 amp and you have the mac address and the serial number which will be useful when you are configuring the router we also have four nice rubberized feet which will help in stabilizing the router when you put it on the flat surface we will go to the other component of the router in a bit let's first see what else is there in the box it should look like a nice packing inside the box we have two cat5 ethernet cable we have got power adapter which has a power rating of 12 volt and 2.5 amp it takes an input of 100 to 240 volt 1 amp and we have got we have got the basic user guide and we have the mounting kits here if you want to mount the router to your wall or somewhere we have the kits for that Let's get back to the router. We have got five ports on the back of the router. Uh, there are four LAN ports, which is labeled as number one to four here. And we have one WAN port, which is labeled as internet. This port will also connect, this port will connect to your internet service provider. We have only one USB port here. There is no other USB port on this device and this will connect to an external 3g 4g or 5g dongle uh, we have a power port here it will connect to the adapter provided with the box and we have a reset uh, option over here uh, for this you will need a pin to reset the device uh, if your device is not booting up uh, and shows only orange light on the led we generally use uh, we can use the reset button to reset the device to its factory setting uh, then we have LED light on the front which is the only uh, thing on the front side of this router there's no other thing as you can see uh, and this has different color codes uh, to talk about this color codes if it's uh, if the LED is showing solid orange that means power is applied but appliance is not connected to the Miraki dashboard if it is showing rainbow color that means appliance is attempting to connect to Miraki dashboard if it is a flashing white that means firmware upgrade is in progress if it is a solid white that means router is fully operational uh, other thing just to say all these ports are gigabit ports uh, Ethernet ports so that's good uh, if we talk about the device capacity it supports a stateful firewall throughput of 250 mbps has a recommended clients of 50 and has the advanced security throughput of 200 mbps with maximum vpn throughput of 100 mbps hope this video was helpful in understanding the miraki mx64 hardware and its different components that's all for today. Cheers. Goodbye.